Hello and welcome back to Sly Cooper and the Thievius Raccoons. Let's learn about the enemy. The third member of the Thievish Five was the infamous Ruby Priestess. He's ugly. Born into a family of mystics, all their children found her scary. Teaching herself to summon the undead, provided what few friends she had. A career in crime allowed an adult Miss Ruby to punish the world for burying her as a child. She is mystic with the Thievish Five. Her powers allowed them to break both the laws of man and nature at the same time. Yet despite the whirlwind success of her youth, she managed to slip into obscurity. The last known sighting claimed she headed out of civilization into the Haitian jungle. Sly Cooper, man. Vicious dude. And this level should get me another good move that I use often. You'll see why. The dr the dread swamp pack. Okay. Once again, haven't played I haven't played this since yesterday, so I'm getting used to controls once again. New move. Oh, this move. This is probably my favorite move in the game. Just because it looks cool. This clue bottle, don't fall in. Well, actually, it doesn't matter now. I just remembered I have the, the water thing. Yeah, I got all the things. Ah, uh, yes. I'm not moving. It just slides by itself. I love it. Oh, oh spider. And of course, jump over. You gotta keep on your toes. You'll have another level later. We're gonna have another level later, which is pro I always end up missing the clue bottle, but it is probably my favorite level in the game. And also, these mosquitoes are one of the most annoying enemies in the game. Ah, forgot this. Yeah, those mosquitoes have killed me several times just because I cannot get used to how to kill them, no matter how many times I try. But, oh well, let's hope I don't die too many times. I know I've already died in this playthrough, but I know I'm definitely going to die again somewhere throughout this section of levels. These guys can get annoying too. You hit them, they break apart, and you kill the body in hit. I kind of, I like this level. It's pretty good, it's pretty good. We're, all, we're already coming up to the end of it. There's a big, massive hub area coming up soon where most of the clue bottles are. Yeah, I'll definitely, the, the, the rest are definitely in there. I've already got more than I thought I should. The rest are definitely in there. Yeah, watch out here. This is the first appearance of this, and I think they use it quite a few times in later in the later games. Jump up here, kill him. That's a clue box. Yeah, the rest are definitely down there. We've already well, only four minutes. If 
you have a lot of time to work on this, you can just take them all out with the mine cap easy. Don't get caught, don't get caught, don't get caught. And this is wait for there, wait for the Passover. Death. And no one suspects a thing. But I don't have time, so I'm just going to have to try that. Oh, oh, phew. Sneak up and kill him off silently. Too bad I don't have the silent kill in later games. This is the first time I've tried to do it this way ever. I always use them. I usually use the mind cap or just avoid him. Should be the last one. So. I hope it's the last one. If it's not, I'm in trouble. Yeah, the safe way to do that section is with the mind cap. So if you have it, use it because everything else is too risky. But as for time purposes, I couldn't do that. Come on, don't be missing one clue bottle. Surely one more is in here. One more. Just the one. Don't tell me it. Great. Okay, I'll go ahead and destroy all of this and get the key, and then I'll be back in a minute. You got it! The Mojo Force Field is down, and you... Okay, you just said the Mojo Force Field is down, and I can get the key. Which I did. You know what? As to save time, I'm going to go ahead and just stop the video and pick up recording from when I find the clue bottle.